something slips. It's some kind of gorilla. To attract the attention. I didn't pay much attention to it. Make it by night. It's against the law, but if it's nice, they're gonna leave it there. Beautified the, the city. I'm Lady Udi. I'm doing some street art in Belgrade. Not in my profession. <laughs> Just, you know, in free time I do some stencils to, you know, to do something in the city. Not sitting at home. Uh, why street art? Um, because when you do street art, when you do stencils, you can talk with um, a lot of people. You go in the street and you do something and the people are, you know, maybe aware of aware of it because you know they can see it it's not like they have to go um, in some exhibition or they don't have to be interested in art at all you know they they have to see it because they're passing you know by accepting unique is a lot of traditional stories which is a very special ali street art in principle bio nešto što je tu u tom trenutku me zaokupilo nešto što mi bilo interesantno i dopalo mi se to što je tako javno što je što je stalno u galeriji, što je stalno na ljudima dostupno, što je nešto što niko ne može da ti ono ti kontroliše u smislu nekom neke cenzure, misliš. Stresil zato što mi se dopala ta ta je način stampe, stvari te ili kako već to zove i zato što dopalo mi se to zato što mogu da ponavljam ponavljam isti radi i mogu da ga uradim ponovo ako sačuvam stencil zbog toga stencil. Recimo da jednostavno me počinilo me taj, taj način ostavljanja tih fleka kroz rupu na nekom papiru ili kartonu ili kako već. Jednostavno zbog toga stencil, dopada mi se stencil. Dopada mi se kao mediji. Na zidu svuda je dostupno, svi ljudi prolaze, vide ga, uradiš ga gde god ti hoćeš, kad god ti hoćeš, kažeš šta hoćeš, slobodno. places they're ugly or you know just abandoned to make them look pretty nice well I choose very very carefully places that I'm, 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 I want to do my stuff basically it's it's about freedom it's about you expressing yourself it's about streets it's about the adrenaline that you feel so yeah and it's about change because you can change a lot of, of things with it you have like you can have big impact on, on, on many people. So. Yeah. Usually I'm a lot of, I'm optimistic I do uh, stuff like um, some of my work with the uh, children or something like that. It's, it's uh, just a way to express some joy or something. But uh, my latest work is a little bit uh, depressive, uh, pessimistic. I don't know, I just felt uh, it, uh, that day that, uh, that these days I was uh, kind of down by some uh, stuff going around. unconditional yeah and for me it's the feeling that I carry with me you know all the time 
no matter is it about life or people or is about what I do like street art and graffiti stuff and this stencil I have this the heart is the center of the stencil and uh, I have like eyes also it's very symbolic because I think the feeling that I, I have it's like I, I feel this really unconditional love in a way for for stuff I do and it's like all around me like it's present everywhere and I see it in every part of, of my life and it keeps me going stvari koje ja, ako je uopšte tu i jeste neka ozbiljna poruka, to je prosto nešto tako što ja zaključim i što mislim da bi trebalo da kažem. Nešto što nema neku mnogo posebnu neku podlogu i posebnu neku pojentu, neku, neku konkretnu priču, neku i neki ideal, nego više se radi o nečem u nekoj moje fascinaciji konkretno je koju u tom trenutku tu tako prezentujem. A inspiracija trenutka, inspiracija slučaja, jednostavno šta mi se i trudim se da to što manje filtrira, znači da bude baš tako i ako se neki radovi možda i izađu iz nekog, šta ja znam, ono norm nekog okvira, uopšte mi nije značajno, ne opterećuje se time šta to znači ili šta neko misli o tome, pitno mi je da je meni zanimljivo kad nađem pored njega da mi se čini da je to to. To je leteća riba koja nosi grančicu masline, kao iz Biblije, samo što je u biblijskoj verziji ptica donela grančicu jer je svet prestao da bude potopljen. E, sad sam ja teo da kažem da je u ovom mom slučaju riba donosi grančicu jer je sve, jer ptica ne može da ide kroz vodu. Uh, it's not something that is that has to do with um, with this country or with the politic. Uh, it's like my my personal life and the things that surround me and uh, the things I like in that moment. Like I don't know if I was reading a book of Baudelaire and then I I was really impressed by Baudelaire and then I did some stencil to just show the people maybe they didn't know about him to uh, connect with people that maybe they should read it and to inspire them of, of him. Yeah, the stencil with the cheese, it's now a bit symbolic um, because I made a lot of stickers with the cheese and in the book that I'm writing, um, like <coughs> the main character is um, meeting people and when he connects with them, he is giving to them a cheese sticker. Run the track! Yo! choose your motive and then maybe you can draw it or you can use some computer program to modify it and then you transfer it to this I, I use this uh, plastic sheet because they are easy to cut and I just cut it out next thing you go out and spray it the 
most of the work for Sensil are at home. You have to prepare yourself. Uh, so the street, uh, the street part is just uh, uh, one small part. Okay, street part. Uh, it's interesting. It can be uh, very unusual. Sometimes, okay, uh, mostly during the night uh, to in, to avoid people. Uh, we have. Um, some trouble doing it but uh, people are usually curious they want to approach to see what are you doing uh, what that uh, what does, uh, does it mean so it can it can be uh, a little bit uh, strange and uh, annoying but uh, okay I don't know once uh, once uh, even a cop uh, approached to me um, but I think uh, he wasn't he, he just was uh, Coming home from work, she, he wouldn't, uh, wouldn't uh, call his uh, patrol something, so he was just like, okay, get out of here, go. I think um, everybody's going to do some street art or graffiti after midnight or something like that, because you don't want a lot of people there, you know, walking the street, you, you need your peace, you, you need, you know, to be concentrated on what you do to be a bit alone you know you don't need the policemen and stuff like that um, I'm just trying to when I go to do the stencil I really need a lot of time because I'm just searching for some special place that um, is destined to my stencil or you know, stuff like that because if you put a stencil anywhere it's it's not it's stupid you know you have to you have to find something really uh, that will connect with your art because this is really a street art. You're not just putting everything everywhere. You just you have to search the best place for it. This is my alter ego. It's Lor. It's short. It's part of my full name, which is Lortek, which is sort of like technology of Lor. I'm oh no. doing that name for the last five years. Mm -hmm. Before that, I changed a lot of names, trying to find something that has like depth in it, not just some word without any meaning. So I came up with, it, with this by in a way by mistake. I did some workshop on the front wall and I met the security from this place and I realized that we should start sweet, sweet talking them to letting us use it and we made it. But and, yeah, and for the first time we did like a naked girl at the entrance for yeah. the security guys to look at and they were, <laughs> yeah, so they were like amazed and they really liked what we were doing and they uh -huh. let us use the factory because if this is going to get torn down and they're going to make a big shopping mall, it's like 14 acres, it's the, the space. And yeah, we're using it for a year, for like two years now. Yeah. And the more we came, and the biggest, the bigger stuff we made, they were more amazed, and we have no trouble. They're not letting anyone else in. Mm. It's because in Belgrade, a lot of there's a lot of haters, a lot of hating, so mm. people destroy our stuff. Mm -hmm. So we have to find like remote spots like uh -huh. this where we can paint in in quiet and so. peace. The yeah. scene is starting now and a lot of kids are getting wow. involved and that's why I feel we need to promote the thing in the right way uh -huh. so that they don't get it wrong as it happens here a lot, so uh -huh. a lot of stuff.
and it's happening in graffiti. They're connecting it with uh, hooli football hooligans, right wing nationalists. Uh, They're kids, really, who yeah. only do Cyrillic. Uh, graffiti supporting Radko Mladic and stuff like that. And wow. they think they're hardcore graffiti writers. Because it, for me, it really doesn't make much sense. There's the politics, it plays a, lot, a big part in Serbia. So, you know, right-wing yeah. nationalists destroy graffiti because it's in Latin and it's, you know, any kind of free thought, it's dangerous for them in a way. So. Yeah. And then kids who paint graffiti and don't have uh, guts to cross us with their names use the nationalistic stuff to paint over a piece of I did my first piece with, with friends in 96. Just painting, painting, painting. Oh. That's my addiction now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to express? I don't know. It's just to leave the mark that we're alive, we're here and stuff like that. It's not like some deep uh, message. Mm -hmm. the, the process of making it and the act of leaving is the message. Yep. Trude da da uništa na čiji Evo radove malo pre one koje smo videli tamo, znam, znači, znam sigurno da su uništeni, da je više radova uništavano za jednu noć, da su ljudi išli sa četkama i sistematski uništavali, kao što smo mi radili, oni su u obrnutu smeru išli i uništavali. Tako je da, tako da je do, i to je sigurno da postoje takvi ljudi, a postoje isto tako ljudi koji fotografišu radove i koji manično, koji manično, manično skupljaju ovaj, te sve nove crteže i prate ko je, ko se novi pojavio, ko je stari ko više ne radi i slično. Znači sigurno da ima i ovih i onih, mislim da je više onih koji vole, da je više onih kojima se to dopada, bar se ja nadam. For them it was like, hey, what are you doing? Graffiti, what is that? Oh, you are a child, but you're spraying it. And uh, then, okay, my father mostly, uh, but I uh, then show them my work. And, oh, it's not bad, it's not, uh, it's okay, girl. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Or something like that? Okay, okay folks, give the rest. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, feedback from the surrounding, from the friends. The um, thing about my stencil that I did, like maybe it's the third stencil, it's Sid Vicious, because then I was really into punk and Sex Pistols, and I was obsessed with them. So I made some Sid Vicious, and some people are like um, doing, they were adding their comments on my stencil, like um, Sid and Nancy, the Sid was a pussy, and stuff like that, and they didn't you know, scratch it, they didn't, you know, paint it over, they just add their opinion on it. So it's like, to me, that is the connection with, you know, with stencil and, and the people that are looking at it. Over and over again in order to do it 
you have to see bigger picture. You know, it's not just about one person. It's about movement. It's about seeing. It's about people around you. So you know, you have to be more open and be out of your ego you know, to do it. So it's kind of contradiction, but it's very alive. I don't know. It's contemporary and it's you know now.